Hello, my name is Jan Benham, founder and CEO of The Aroma Shop. Today, I'm going to talk about the bases that we sell at The Aroma Shop for the making of lip balms, lipsticks, and cosmetic pencils, including eye and lip pencils. So I'm going to start off by talking and discussing each of the ingredients that we use in these bases, and then about the individual bases that we sell. And then we're going to talk about, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use these bases. So let's kick off with um, the ingredients that we use. And I'm going to start with castor oil because that is the ingredient that we use the most in all our bases. So castor oil is often, most often used in lipsticks and lip glosses because it gives a nice shine. It's very thick and viscous. It helps to disperse the pigments and has an acceptable odor, taste, color, whilst being very, relatively inexpensive. Castor oil has a lot of in, incredible properties as well. Um, I've noticed that it does seem to help get rid of toxins in the skin. Now you might have heard of, of um, castor oil wraps where people make a castor oil wrap, where it's, um, it's a, usually a towel or something that is soaked in castor oil and then it's wrapped on say the liver area on the stomach and then there's a hot water bottle or some heat application on the top and then it's left there for about 20 minutes and this helps to draw out toxins out of the liver. Well it also, there's very little known about this but I have noticed myself that when I use castor oil on my skin, so especially around the lips, it also helps to remove the toxins from the skin. So a very interesting point there. And um, it also, of course, they use castor oil often to relieve constipation as well. So that's by the by. So that's castor oil. Uh, then we have shea butter. Now you could use uh, shea butter, of course, in your lipsticks, but, and you could also use cocoa butter, but we tend to use more the shea butter, and this is hit here. And this has been naturally bleached, uh, so it's not bleached by chemicals in the sun, so it is white. You see, you want to make sure that when you, if you buy castor oil, uh, sorry, shea butter, that it is, it has been refined in such a way that there's no gritty bits in there and so on. So it's basically from the African butter tree, which grows in Central Africa, and it provides some skin protection against UV radiation. It's anti-inflammatory and it soothes and softens dry chapped skin. So you can see why these lipsticks will also, using these bases, will also help to soften dry chapped skin on the lips. That's the, that's the second oil, uh, oil um, I would call it oil, but it's more of a butter. And then another one that I really love to use is a hoba. And hoba is technically not a oil, but it's a liquid wax. The beauty of hoba oil is that it never goes off, it never goes rancid. So it has no aroma and it's um it also re uh, resembles sebum in the skin the oil product in the skin and it can help dissolve it so if anyone has any acne in the skin although i'm going into skin problems here if you use jojoba either by itself or mixed into a lotion or a cream it can help to calm down and dissolve the sebum that might cause the acne it also is indicated for dry skin, psoriasis and eczema and it's balancing and it's great for all skin types. So another great product to use in a lipstick, although we don't use them in all our lip products. A relatively new addition to my bases is um, a base that I use and I mix in Naturederm IL and basically it is made from coconut and sugar beet and it's a natural silicone replacement. So its main function is to improve the glide 
of the lipstick during application. It also leaves a non-greasy soft aftertouch. So it has a lot of intre incredible interesting properties and um, a lot of people are preferring the lipstick that does contain the Naturoderm IL because it adds this softness and also helps with keeping the lipstick on longer. So those are the three there. To preserve the lipsticks, is well, it's not really a technically a preservative, it helps to stop rancidity, especially of the castor oil. We do add some natural vitamin E to our products as well. So there is natural vitamin E added to those. And then we have the waxes. So in our in ingredients, um, we do have beeswax, but not in all of them. So we do give you an option. And this is obviously, um, these are in beads, beeswax beads. And again, it's been naturally refined. And what is beautiful about it, it, it is really great as a backbone. So all these waxes are the backbone of your lipsticks and also your lip pencils, most important. So beeswax is a great product. It's quite soft though. So we mix in other waxes, such as candelilla wax and canalba wax. So candelilla wax is the one I most use. It's got a nice shine, so it gives a nice gloss to lipsticks and lip glosses as well. And it's extracted from a, a candel the leaves of a candelilla plant. And it has a higher melting point than beeswax, so it does have a little bit more stability, um, uh, so it makes the lipsticks nice and firm. That's one natural wax that we do use. Another wax that we use is canalba wax, which is from uh, the leaves of the canalba palm tree. And it's the hardest natural wax you can get. Now, I don't tend to use this in the lipstick bases, but I do use them in the pencils because it helps to make them a little bit firmer. So it has a much higher melting point, and you can see when I talk about each of these bases later. We, I started to add now stearic acid. This is the last uh, ingredient that we include. And not in all the ingredients, but stearic acid, what it does, it helps to stay, stop the breakage in the lipsticks. It, um, stearic acid is naturally derived from fats. So it can be uh, got from animal fats or from vegetable fats. This particular stearic acid is from vegetable fats. So you don't have to worry about it being vegan. And it, it's great for adding, it helps to stop the uh, pencils from being brittle and breaking easily. So it's a good thing to add that to it. So now we're going to look at the various bases. And we have, um, so starting from the beginning, this is base number one. This is actually the original lipstick that I used to make many years ago and it is can be used as a lip balm it was always what i called a lipstick that thinks it's a lip balm so it's very nourishing to the lips but it also has the ability to be a lipstick as well so it's quite nice if you've got very dry lips and you want something that's a little bit more nourishing and what this contains is the castor oil jojoba oil shea butter candelilla wax, the organic beeswax, and naturally derived vitamin E. So that is base number one. I also add a few drops of sweet orange essential oil, which is not sun sensitive, it's organic, and it's really nice, as I said, as a, a lone lip balm. And the uh, when I use this, it can be, of course, made into a lipstick or a lip balm. So we have the lip balm tube here, here is a lipstick and even another type of lipstick uh, pencil as well. And then we have the bases number two. So, yeah. So base number two, we have two types here, two options. 
One is um, contains uh, beeswax and the other contains just candelilla wax. So let me go through the ingredients here. So they both contain, so base number two, A and B, both contain the cast oil, the shea butter, the candelilla wax, the stearic acid now we've added here, and naturally dried vitamin E. So this doesn't contain any jojoba in this one. Now the only difference between A and B is that the um, B doesn't contain any beeswax, it contains more candelilla wax. So that is only the difference between the two. So that's if you want a vegan option. And then we have, and then again, of course, you can use, sorry, base number two into any of these three applicants. And now we come to base number three. So base number three is what I call my cosmetic pencil base. And it's, um, and it contains the canalba wax now. So this contains canalba wax, castor oil again, organic beeswax, stearic acid, a whole oil, and naturally derived vitamin E. Now, so this is useful in these kind of pencils, it works really well, or in the larger lip uh, cosmetic pencils. So this, would, this could make a uh, lip cosmetic pencil, or you could use uh, make a lip or an eye pencil in this. It's too uh, soft to be able to use in the very narrow pencils, and we'll come into that right now. So we have uh, base number four, which is for eyebrow pencils and mascara. We also use this in mascara as well. But it doesn't just have to be eyebrow pencil, it could of course be eye pencils and hard lip pencils. So it makes a very hard uh, pencil. And you can see this is the number four and it's very brittle. So you can see we don't even have to put it into a container anymore. So it breaks very easily. And this is the base that we use for our base number four. And this contains canalba wax, stearic acid, organic beeswax, organic jojoba oil, and natural vitamin E. And then last but not least, we go back again a little bit to base number five. Now base number five is basically a new, um, a new base I've uh, formulated for um, lipsticks. And it's, yeah, this is it. No, this is it. Yeah, so this is base number five. And what it is, we've added now the Naturederm IL. And um, I'm going to show you how we're going to use that in a moment. And it contains candelilla wax, beeswax, stearic acid, shea butter, castor oil, Naturederm IL, and natural vitamin D. And it's a little bit more firmer than base number two. So now we've talked about that, we're going to now, I'm going to now demonstrate how to use the base number one, the twos, A and B, and the five. See you in a minute. So here I've prepared the base and melted it in advance and also prepared the pigments. This base is, the, is base number five, but it could be base number one or either of the number twos. So it doesn't really matter. It's the same ratio of oil and wax to the pigment. So I, first of all, I have done a simple small amount if you just want to make, say, one or two lipsticks. And then I've done a larger amount to be able to fill a whole 12 cavity mold. Now, if you don't have a mold, you can simply pour into a lip balm tube or even into a pot and then you can use a brush afterwards. So the pigments I'm using today, the small one is Spice Impact Pigment and the larger one is just Peachy. 
So in here I have put actually 11 grams of the base number five and in my recipe card here I suggest using say nine grams to one teaspoon of the impact colored pigment and you'll be approximately right. So this is 11 grams of the base and this is four grams of spice impact pigment. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just going to literally, I'm gonna pour it directly in. And then just give it a good stir. You can always reheat afterwards. So this is, uh, mixed and I'm literally going to pour in and I think I'll get two out of here yes just two so that is the spice lipstick now in the larger quantity I'm going to just literally, this is uh, 18 grams of the Just Pigment into 50 grams of the base. And you see it makes blends quite nicely and easily in here. Just, I'll just keep pouring and pouring and pouring without stopping so you get no cracks in your resulting lipstick. just makes 12 lipsticks great so now I'm going to put these in the fridge and then I'm going to show you how we make the cosmetic pencils so now we're going to make cosmetic pencils and I've chosen today to do the bedroom eyes eye pencil which I use myself so I've already prepared the base. In other words, I have melted base number three and there is 16 grams of base number three in this pot. And then we have prepared pigment for the bedroom eyes. And the recipe is on the recipe card right here. So what we do, now I've got a mold here, but you don't have to have a mold. What you can do is get your pencil and literally glue the end cap on and then you can fill it from the top and then of course you've just got to put it down and then let it really cool so I would leave it at least 12 hours before you sharpen it these have the advantage in that you get the tip at the end immediately so in the 16 gram I'm going to add three teaspoons there's quite a lot of pigment to this three teaspoons of the bedroom eyes pigment and I'm going to just stir the back of the spoon with the back of the spoon until it blends well in purposes I am now going to remove my glasses because I can see better without my glasses so to do to pour in here just literally just get the spoon and pour and 
if you go over the edge, don't worry, you can clean up afterwards. And that's pretty well what you do. You can syringe in as well. I just find it easier just to pour. That one was absolutely perfect. And then if it gets a little bit thick, you can just reheat the whole thing again in a double boiler. And it should just about make the four. Yes, perfect. So out of that, we have four pencils. I'm just going to top this one up a little bit. Voila. So I'm just going to let that cool down and I'm going to show the results at the end of when we've made the final one. So now we're going to make some eyebrow pencils. Now this particular blend, uh, this is base number four, can also be used in the slim pencils, poured directly in just, as, just like we did with the large jumbo pencils and also into these slim pencils. I've also made the eyebrow pencils into these uh, pencils as well, the jumbo pencils as well, and they worked quite nicely. But for this one, we definitely need the mold. And what I've done here, because it's a very tiny space, I've just done a tiny touch of gap to allow the air, so allow the flow of the oil wax to go into the holes. And we don't always make it every time, but we can remelt and re-pour, so there's no problem with that. So what I've got here is nine grams of the base number four, and I'm going to put two teaspoons of this blonde pigment base that I have. And I'm going to be actually selling this base to make it a little bit easier for people. I'm just going to do a little bit more than two there, just to make it really strong. And then I'm just going to stir again. Now this base has got the hard wax, so it's very, very, um, takes a long time to melt, the cannabis wax does. But it makes the pouring a lot easier. And it's extremely hot. So I'm just going to make a little pouring section there. And then I'm just going to pour. It's very little product. I don't think that's going to make it. So any that we don't have at the end, we can just put back in the container and put back into the heating mechanism that whichever you've used again and redone as well so it's pretty easy there's no wastage so now we're going to look at the finished product so now we're going to take a look and see what we have produced so first of all i'm going to start with the eye pencil and all you simply do is you just pull out and you can see here we have the finished pencil and all we need to do is clean up the outside, put the, glue this end stick on, and then we have a finished eye, eye pencil. So this is Bedroom Eyes Eye Pencil with base number three. I'm just gonna pop this right back in here. And then we're going to go to the lipsticks. This has been in the fridge. And I'm going to just take off the excess and gently remove the lid. I'm going to use a case fitter here but it's not necessary to use. So if one pops out that is okay. This can actually be, I'm going to reuse, I'm going to put this back in the pot to remelt and reuse. And if you have a case fitter, 
this is the case fitter. I'm just going to pop this on top, makes for easy removal. And then I'm just going to pop this in, down and up. And voila, that is the finished lipstick. So this is the Just Peachy lipstick. And we just put the lid on there. That's number two. I'm just going to pop this to one side. And then we're going to look and see how we came out here. So again, we can remove the excess. You can see how hard and how brittle this is. This is for the eyebrow pencil. Just pop these back in. Again, remelting. Sometimes these come out, sometimes beautiful, and sometimes they decide that they're not going to. So it's all the luck of the game. Usually I get two or three out of these each time. And I haven't done this in a while, so it takes me a little bit of time to get used to the doing it. And we got one. Oh no, we got a few. So we got a whole bunch here. So I would say there is two that I specifically love. You've got to be very careful here. I'm going to take this one out because I need one for myself. They are very, very delicate. And I'm taking this one out because I'm going to use this for myself. It's not good for resale, this one. Make sure this is coming to the edge. And I just pop it in. If it will go in. And then just push it down. So with the remainder, I was able to insert the uh, one of the good ones into the pencil. And this is the result. So this is the eyebrow pencil made with base number four. And then of course, going back, we used made at bedroom eyes eye pencil with base number three. And then the lipstick with base number five. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Hope you have a great day wherever you may be and it's bye for now.